Hi guys, it's a bit of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm having a little twist today. I'm talking about a Pacific basketball team in Gillingham, Kent, in Medway. It's actually called Medway Park Crusaders. Now, Medway Park Crusaders is a basketball team. I think it's a semi-pro team. It has a under 14, 16s, 18s, men's. It's got two men's teams. It's got one in Division One, Premier. And one in uh, Division 4. The coaching staff is uh, it's, uh, Matt Fennon, James Vera coaches men's, and you got some a new Canadian coach who coaches a Div 4 men's team. You got uh, Craig Nicole and Andy Gates for uh, under 16s. Now, the under 18s coach hasn't been named yet, so I can't actually, uh, you know, I can't actually name the actual coach, but he'll be pretty good. Now, let's talk about the facilities in Medway Park. The court is really nice. Nice wooden floor, no other lines, specific for basketball. The hoops are glass with a rubber on the rubber on the end of the backboard. That's for safety reasons. It's pretty. It's a pretty nice court. The facilities where the, the chairman Jesse Sazen, uh, what am I gonna say? Jason Sazen uh, gives out fifty quid for basketball. Could get better ones, but for a a Kent team in England, it's pretty good. Just want to say the coaching staff have done an excellent job this year. James Finn, the men's team, first year in Div 1, made it to the playoffs. He lost to the best team in the playoffs, but first year gets in the playoffs. That, that deserves a round of applause from any coach. Craig Nicole, first year of coaching, gets to the playoffs, sadly loses. Matt Fennon uh, gets to the, uh, doesn't just, just misses it from the playoffs but a little disappointment on the under 18's team you know f winning 5 losing 18 but they were against some tough basketball teams and when they won they won in style don't let, don't put them down they won in style but when they lost they lost I mean I think they lost by 60 to a team and that's a lot I don't play basketball. I normally, you know, coach, table official. I'm normally a statistician. The basketball, you know, the actual organization, the player, the player quality, the coaching staff. Out of ten, seven, eight, but they haven't got exactly got a big sponsor. I mean, like you look at NBA teams. Oh no, not even NBA. How can I compare this to the NBA? Compared to, you know, maybe compared to BBL. They're making like 40 grand a year. What kind of shit is that? Another thing about Medway Park. <laughs> brilliantly organized. And it's well organized by the, you know, the staff, the chairman. Now, Medway Park is in link to uh, Canterbury High School. I go to that school myself, and uh, I've seen link with uh, oh, what's that school team? Uh, Northfleet Academy. Academy High is not actually academy, but it's pretty called Academy High still. Northfleet is a very nice school, but basketball wise, the coach is good, but the under 16, 14 teams are just lacking that actually the quality that can be high do. I'm picking my school up. But that's my opinion. Other people might have a different opinion. We're all entitled to our opinions. Another thing is um, in Canterbury High as an academy. What's a very high level academy coached by Jesse Says and Craig Nicole? Two good coaches, level three, level two. Jesse Says is uh, he's an England under 15s coach. Craig Nicole 16s. Is an under sixteen assistant Scotland coach, so they're pretty they're pretty knowledgeable of what they're doing, what they're doing over here. Now the whole point of this video was to talk about Medway Park, you know, the, the strengths and weaknesses. Let's go through the weaknesses. 
sponsor is... <laughs> I can't really put that as a Medway Park Green News, but I'm going to because I'm picky like that. The sponsor needs to get a bigger sponsor. I mean, the money is just too, too little. But it's good for little sponsor like that. The facilities can be improved a little bit. There can be better coaching staff. You know, not coaching staff. Maybe be better physio. They're doing a pretty good job. But maybe a little, you know, just that, 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 little, that little, you know, that little extra. Facilities, basketballs, I can't really ask for more. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, they're pretty damn good. It's just, I think they should train often. I know people got school and everything, but they should at least be training at Medway Park three times a week. They're only training twice. I mean, summers where players are made, and they're only training once or twice a week. What kind of shit is that? Sorry for my language, that's just my opinion. As a whole, Medway Park are a brilliant team as an organization. They got weaknesses, but their strengths, I think, overpower them weaknesses. So overall, my opinion is Medway Park are a brilliant basketball team. Big enough to the one of the players is one of my friends, uh, James Kobe Lloyd, and my other friend David Couchman. David Couchman is an under 15 England player, when James Lloyd is a wannabe England under 14s or 15s player. He needs to work on his defense, you know, you know, to get a little fitter. He's a little bit on the fat side. But he can still get up. He can still play ball. I mean, they came home to America. They would get drafted to Ohio State or, you know, Kansas, Kentucky. Easy. No problem about that. So, my overall view, brilliant basketball team, okay facilities, brilliant coaching staff, well organized. That's what, that's my real Medway Park. Thank you for listening, viewers. Good night.